In this lesson, we're going to talk about the intensity mask in the lens effect settings. To begin, let's start an interactive render. You can go ahead and stop this render well before it is done, and then go down and click on the open lens effect settings, and we'll see those lens effect settings over here. Go ahead and check on the bloom effect and check on the glare effect. Our image isn't finished rendering yet. We stopped it, but we can see those effects are still starting to take shape. But we also want to check on the intensity mask here for the bloom area. And then we also want to check it on here for the glare mask down near the bottom. Once you do that, you'll need to re-render your image. So let's go ahead and do that now. Once your image has been rendered, you'll see the bloom and glare effects being applied here. Also though, now that we've got those intensity masks checked on, if you flip down this menu option here, you'll see that it's rendered a bloom mask and a glare mask. Click on the bloom mask. The white areas of this mask are where the bloom effect will be applied. The black areas are ignored. Notice that the bloom mask is the same as the glare mask. The only reason that there are two masks is because you can change the settings of one over the other. For example, let's go ahead and change the intensity of the glare mask from three to 10 and then go ahead and re-render. You'll see that the effect is that the mask is constricted or tightened up quite a bit. So the white areas are kind of drawn in a bit and there's more black. And this will have an impact on where the actual glare effect occurs. Once you get to a point about like what you see here for me, you can stop this re-render and flip back over to the RGB color to see the effect.